Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to Cheat Code Jiu-Jitsu. Jeff White here once again. We're working part two of our Casey Gatami series, and this is gonna be on defense and escapes from Casey Gatami. So we're, I'm gonna be working from the bottom today, uh, doing this both because it's good to know, but also a lot of the, the common escapes from Casey Gatami come from the guy on top not having good position. And then you either forcing bad position on him and then exposing that to escape, or alternatively, the guy just doesn't really know how to properly control Casey Gatami. They're making some mistakes in how they're holding the position, and then that leads you into several different escapes. Understanding how to get out of the position will make you better know how to apply the position because it'll let you know where not to put your feet, where not to put your head, where not to put your hips, and what that person is doing to try to get away from your control. So to level up your game, I'm locking them down. So stay tuned and learn some escapes. All right, so Tony's got me down in case of Katami position. He's he's intentionally using kind of bad position right now just so we can get used to the escapes and stuff. But uh, in order to get out of this position, uh, one of the ones that opens itself up really quick is all about this leg. If you'll remember in the last video, I said you want this sort of at nine o'clock and then you want the other leg up at 12 o'clock. One of the reasons that you do that is you don't wanna leave this leg flared back or even worse, actually lay it back there because that's gonna open up a really easy line of escape for me as the guy on bottom just reaching in and hooking this. And then I can start taking his position away, putting some kind of a lock over here. And then I start worming my way out the back door and then I take his back and then now he's in trouble. Which of course is the danger that a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu people see and why they don't like doing this position. So don't leave this leg laying back. If you do, I can hook it. And there's some crazy leg stuff I can do to pull it in if you're in the right position, but that escape works. A lot of this is about this arm, the trapped arm. I wanna get this arm down and out. Uh, the, we talked about that in the last video, why it's important to keep tricep control and keep that leg underneath to pull it up. If I can get this arm out, I can escape and I can take his back. If I can't get this arm out, I'm gonna be in trouble. But one of the things that I can do is I can do a kind of a crappy bridge to get out of here because I wanna force this arm coming out. Uh, again, if you'll remember from the last video, I talked about uh, doing the roll and being able to post with this hand. I can actually use that by doing sort of a crappy roll that I know that he can defend to allow me to get this hand out. So what I'm gonna do is if I've got access here, I'm gonna lock up. I'm not gonna move my hips to the right spot, which I'll show you here in a minute where you actually wanna be, but I'm gonna clamp down and I'm gonna bridge and I'm gonna try to turn. And when I turn, Tony's gonna feel it. He's gonna pull this hand out and he's gonna post. Okay, as soon as he does that, he's no longer got a good tight grip on this arm and I'm gonna turn back down and retract that arm and I come out the back door. That's, that's actually one of my favorite escapes against people who are not doing a good job of holding the position. Uh, if he locks in here and he starts leaning back far, like not doing a proper job of just barely getting his hips off the ground, but actually leaning back, sometimes I can just roll really fast and I can pull him over. More often he starts leaning back, he feels off balance. I bridge just a little bit. He pulls that hand out to post. I retract and I come right back down and I take his back. So that again is the key for why you don't want to be lifting your hips way up off the ground in that case of Katami position and why I don't like as the top person putting your hand out the post because it does open up a really easy line of escape. It would be easier for Tony to hold that position on me if I had a gi on because he could wrap the gi fabric with his other hand and pull that arm up which would keep me from sliding out. No gi, that arm's coming right out. It's very difficult for him to keep a lock on it and then I slide out and take his back. Let's get back in position. So those are two quick, simple escapes. Now we're gonna talk about the two that are the most high percentage, that are the most common. Uh, and you need to know both of these because they actually feed one into the other. So bridging and rolling in some configuration is the easiest and best way to get out of here. The problem is a lot of people don't get it because they do it wrong. 
you can see if you come around and you look right here my hips are actually fairly far away from his this is a bad position for me to be in i don't want to be hips far away i want to be hips underneath to make this work okay so when i start here i'm going to lock up around his waist and then i'm going to do kind of a mini bridge and put my hips underneath of his now from here this grip around his body is important okay i want to make sure that whichever arm i've got wrapped deep whether it's this arm or the back arm kind of depends on your arm length but whichever one is the deepest i want to go blade of my wrist directly into his ribs then the other hand comes in palm up and then i'm just going to squeeze okay i can do it either way whichever one i can get into his ribs but i want to squeeze hard now what i'm going to do is with my hips underneath of him i'm going to bridge and put his head on the ground and then once his head gets up i'm going to turn and roll him back that way okay so here move in bridge up and take him over even against a really big guy if you do this correctly it's like you're lifting a piece of paper and they just go flying if your hips are in the wrong position when you try to set this up and you try to lift them you're not going to be able to turn so you got to scoot your hips in get your hips underneath of them bridge and then roll and you can escape so one more time showing that one Tony's got me here in case of Gatami. It helps if he's not properly putting his foot up there with a 12 o'clock leg, because I need to get his head up there. So I scoop my hips in, bridge up, turn and roll. And then I end up in side control with a nice little body lock that I can pinch in on him, works really well. Now, people a lot of times are familiar with that escape, and so they feel me feeding my hips underneath of his body. So his natural counter to that is when I move my hips in, he's going to move his hips away. That's going to actually feed into my next escape. This is actually my personal favorite escape, the one that I use the most often, but I need my hips to be really far away from his for this to work. So his action of sliding his hips away from me is going to make it easier for me to escape. So let's go back down. Case Gatami position. And a lot of times I'll bait him a little bit by making him think, yeah, I want my hips close to yours, so I'll start moving in. I start moving in, Tony's gonna slide his hips out. I'm gonna follow him again, he's gonna pull out again. As he pulls out that last time, I'm gonna take my hips and I'm gonna slide them from close to him to really far away. When I get my hips really far away, I'm gonna release. This hand that comes up around is gonna check his head and I'm just going to post and push it as far away as I possibly can. Now, this takes a little bit of dexterity and flexibility in your hips, but if you've got your hips really far away from him, this is not that difficult to do, and you don't have to be a 10th Planet Rubber Guard guy to pull this off. So, hips away, check, push away, and then that leg comes up over the top of the head. Now, what I really want to do at this point is I want to clamp this down and then this arm that was over my head, catch it as I'm taking him down. Scissor choke, Kimura. This is an old familiar position, got videos on both of these, so watch those. I'll put, I'll put a link in the description down to both the scissor choke video and the Kimura video, but if done properly, this lands right there and I can take a scissor choke, I can take a Kimura, or I can take a straight arm block straight away directly from that position so it gets me out of case of Gatami and out of that horrible horrible pinning position that he's got and straight into immediate attacks from me so one more time Tony's got me in case of Gatami I don't like being here I start scooting in he scoots away as he scoots away I slide my hips back I frame his face I push away and then my back leg is going to come over the top of his head grabbing pushing down and then i lock here to trap this arm as i'm going through and there's so many different submissions i can take here if this is just dangling there's a gooseneck wrist lock right there i can trap this isn't a super high percentage straight arm lock right here but it can work 
I can switch my grip and go straight into my Kimura. I've got my scissor choke right here, or I can just use all of this to bring myself back up. And now I've got my straight arm bar game, my Kimura game, everything else just straight from that position. That's why it's my favorite to skate because it not only takes me to a good control position, but it also takes me immediately into some of my favorite attacks. A lot of people don't see that one coming because they're more used to the bridge and roll escape, which is very effective, but for me, I kind of like that last one. So there's a few other ways to get out of the position. If there's some other ways that you guys like, drop them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on that. But make sure that you uh, like the video. It helps me out, helps YouTube show my videos to people when people are liking them. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and pay attention. We got more stuff on the Casey Gatami position coming. Thanks.